Do you wish you could quit teaching and start working from home so you could spend more time with your babies? Are you tired of scouring the internet for legit jobs that will replace your teaching income and that you can do from home in your PJs? Hey mama, welcome to Ditch the Classroom. I know you're over there Googling jobs for teachers, legit work at home jobs, or start a side hustle, yet you can't figure out how to take that first step toward quitting teaching. So instead, you stay stuck, do nothing, or start random side hustles to make quick money. Virtual assistance is the answered prayer you've been waiting for. My name's Ariana, and I'm a former teacher turned work at home mom who replaced my teaching income as a virtual assistant in just six months. I did this by taking a step of faith and following the dream that God placed on my heart to be home with my babies. Sister, your dreams pale in comparison to God's dreams for you. Imagine offering services that light you up and having a job that works around your life and not the other way around. This is the podcast for you. It's time to take that first step out of teaching. Are you ready? Here we go. Y'all, pretty much every teacher that I know struggles with their relationship with money. This is something I struggled with as well, and I still do. And so I wanted to record this episode to help those of y'all who I know are going through the same things. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about how to heal your relationship with money. This is the foundation of earning and keeping more money in your bank account. If you don't heal your relationship with money, you might be overlooking opportunities to make more money, or you might see those opportunities but pass them up because you don't think you deserve them. This is kind of one of those taboo subjects where nobody talks about it, but everyone struggles with it. And I think it really needs to be talked about more, especially, you know, as Christians, as just like women who are trying to spread the message of God, we deserve to have more money because we can do so much more good in the world if we have money. Like, yes, there are a lot of things we can do that don't require money that spread God's message, but there's a lot of things we can do if we have that money kind of helping us along. So it is my belief that Christians deserve to have money because they can do more good in the world. So we're going to go through the two things you kind of need to do in order to start healing your thoughts around money. So number one is that you need to replace your beliefs that you were taught about money. So I want you to go ahead and pause this episode and grab a piece of paper and pencil or pen. And then when you come back, I want you to take a moment and write down the money beliefs that you have. Okay, so you're going to just write down the money belief you have. Then I want you to think about who you got that belief from and whether you really want to believe those statements or not. So, for example, if you grew up hearing your parents say money doesn't grow on trees, well, maybe that's a belief that you have that money is limited and it's really hard to make more. Then you can write that you learned that from your parents. But then I want you to write, do you really want to believe that? Like, yes, you might kind of think it's true at the moment, but does it have to be true or is that just kind of a belief you've taken on? Think about that for a second. So I want you, like I said, write down all of the beliefs you have. This might take you a while. Like this is an episode I definitely think is going to take you a little longer. If you're driving while listening to it, it's okay. Just come make sure you come back to it because these two steps are really so powerful and it's going to start helping you feel like you can make more money and not just crave making more money. So after you've written down your money beliefs that you have and worked through that, then I want you to write down what is the level of wealth that you want to create? What number would just be amazing in your life? And why would it be amazing? What would you be able to do with that amount of money? How much would you be able to give back and pour into your community? What would you be able to do to spend more time with your family, like taking dream family vacations where you just get to pour into them. Write all of that down. Just dream about what would be possible if you had that level of wealth. Then I want you to write down what beliefs would you need to have in order to make that much money? Because I'm going to guess it's not going to be believing that you can't make that amount. You're not going to be able to make that amount if you think it's not possible. Okay. 
So you really have to think through, if I were going to be able to make that much, what beliefs would I have? Would my belief be that God provides abundantly for me and that he knows I can use this money for good? He knows I can use this money to pour into my family. What beliefs would you have? Now, you're going to have to continually journal through these struggles that you're working through with money. It's not like a one and done thing, but that's okay. If you just take a little bit of time, you know, once a month or once every other week to just kind of do this process, you will be amazed at what you start to believe about what you deserve, what God has for you, and all those things. If you keep thinking you don't actually deserve to have the amount of money you'd like to earn, it's kind of like having one foot on the gas and one foot on the brakes. Like you're not really going to be able to go anywhere and your car is probably going to break down. Okay. So you need to kind of reframe these beliefs that you have about how much you deserve to make and just continually work through that. The second step that you need to take in order to start healing your relationship around money is believing that you can figure out how to make more money. Part of this is just trusting yourself, trusting yourself that you know what to do in order to make more. You have different skills you can utilize. You can, it doesn't even just have to be in your your job. It could be, you know, taking on a side hustle. It could be refinishing furniture and selling it. It could be all kinds of things, but you just have to trust yourself that you know how to make more and you can if you really put your mind to it. Part of this is also feeling like you are responsible with money. So if you are spending more than you earn or you have too much debt, this can be kind of challenging to feel like you're responsible if you're always struggling with, you know, making sure your bills are paid. So this might be a process where you have to, you know, take a look at your budget, start adjusting things and build that sense of responsibility with money over time as well. Like I said, this episode is not like a take it and implement it really fast. Like it will take time, but you will see the fruits of your labor. I promise you, if you take the time to do this. Another piece of believing that you can figure out how to make more money is to write down the reasons that you deserve to make more money. How would you use this to benefit your family? How would you use this to benefit the community? Would you be able to donate more to your church? Would you have more time to do community projects? Would you be able to help out a family member who's struggling without worrying about it affecting your finances? Like, how would you having this money not only help you and your family, but help others as well? So I want you to write that down as well. All right, so I know, like I said, this episode is going to take you time. It's not just go implement and it'll be better in a second. It will take work. But trust me, you will see the fruits of your labor if you put this into action. You will start to heal your relationship around money and what you deserve to make. And you will be amazed at what can happen when you just have the belief that you can make more and that God will provide everything you need to do what he's called you to do. All right, y'all. If you have any questions about this episode, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Come over and message me on Instagram at ariana.vernier or come into our free Facebook community. That's at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash ditch the classroom. I would love to just connect with you and hear your questions or your struggles with this topic. And I would be more than happy to create more episodes around this if y'all want it. All right, y'all. I love you so much. And we will see you next time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'd love to bless you with a free gift as a thank you. All you have to do is leave a review of the show on Apple Podcasts, take a screenshot and send it to podcast at ditchtheclassroom.com. I'll send you a code so you can snag my Ditch the Classroom Toolkit for free. And don't forget to come hang out with us in our free community, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash ditch the classroom. I'm so honored to support you in your journey to becoming a virtual assistant. Until next week, y'all. 
Keep following the dreams that were placed on your heart so you too can ditch the classroom.